Hemangiomas, also known as cherry angiomas or Campbell de Morgan spots, are common benign skin growth that typically appears as small red or purple spots on the skin. In this video, we are discussing the adult onset version and not the hemangiomas that babies get at birth or shortly after birth. Here we're going to explore the causes, symptoms and treatment options. Heme angioma, heme blood or hemoglobin, so it's all blood related. Then we have angi and that stands for blood vessels and then oma is growth or swelling. So heme angioma is a benign growth of blood vessels. Hemangiomas can occur anywhere in the body and they're usually painless. They're more common in adults and may be hereditary. They appear as small, round or oval shaped spots that are usually red or purple in colour. Here's some examples. Now the colour corresponds to the degree of oxygenated versus deoxygenated blood in them. Oxygenated blood being red and deoxygenated blood being blue or purple. Now, if they do become injured by scratching or rubbing, the trauma may cause it to bleed and the blood within it can congeal and clot and appear to be very dark purple or black. Now, this is often the reason why someone may become worried about a change in their mole. It's not a mole. This black color would usually occur very quickly after an injury. Hemangiomas are generally harmless and don't require treatment, but they can be removed for cosmetic reasons or if they're causing discomfort or functional problems like bleeding. There are several treatment options available and these include electrocautery. This is a procedure where the hemangioma is cauterized using an electric current and cryotherapy can also be very helpful. In this procedure, the cold gas freezes the hemangioma and internally the blood vessel walls can scar over time and it eventually shrinks. Repeated treatments may be required, especially if the hemangioma is big. In summary, hemangioma are a common benign skin growth that typically appear as small red or purple spots on the skin. And while they're generally harmless and don't require treatment, there are several treatment options available for those who wish to have them removed. If you have any concerns about any skin lesion, it's important to seek advice from a healthcare professional trained in skin lesion recognition. I hope you got value from this video and if you did, hit the like button as it helps YouTube share the video with others. Please consider subscribing and why not check out the other videos that I've put together in this playlist looking at benign skin lesions.